Hey everybody, thank you for logging on. I am Dee Fitz, the designer, and you have just joined me in my design with me session. Yay! Okay, so today we're gonna go over how to design a high quality topography logo. Um, these will help, this, this is gonna help you. This is gonna help you. A lot of people will tell you when you're getting your business together and you're working on the back end with all that LLC stuff and all the contracts and all of that, you're gonna need a logo, okay? You're going to need a logo. And a lot of times logos can range from anywhere from $150 to $3,000, depending on who you're, who's designing it and what. But sometimes you don't even have that. You don't have the 3000 on the low end. So today you're gonna to learn how to design these logos by yourself. This can just, you know, get you started until you're ready to actually really dive in and invest a whole bunch of money into getting your logo designed. But first I need you to subscribe and then push that little button next to the subscribe, that little alarm thingy because it's a bill. It's a bill. Okay. Alarms are bells, right? No? Okay. Move on. All right. Anyway, I want you guys to be alerted anytime that I drop a new video because in a lot of, in a little while, a little while. Start over. Because in a little while, you will also be designing like a pro. So just, just stick with me, okay? Now, if you are new to the crew, if you are new to the crew, ah, ah. If you're new to go, the crew, go, if go. you are new, All right, go ahead. if you're new to the crew, make sure you log on to my website, www.defitsthedesigner.com. Go to the design button, click design, and then download a toolkit that works best for you. We have a basic, we have a premium, and we have an advanced toolkit. Now all these toolkits have Photoshop in them, so you're gonna need to download one of them so that you can follow along. And we also have some prerequisite little videos that you can watch that can kind of get you started on, you know, how to use Photoshop. But once you do all that, come back, come back to me, and then we can get started on designing the logo for your company, your business. This is gonna be so much fun. Now, if you're already ahead of the game, let's go ahead and get started. Now we're gonna start by opening the files. So we're gonna to go to new, and in this area, we are going to set our specifications. So our width is going to be 500. Our height is going to be 500. And this is in pixels. Our resolution should be 300. Um, we're going to make sure our background content is white. Our color mode is going to be RGB color, 8 bits. And then we're going to go ahead and name our new file. And we'll just call it logo. And we'll just click OK. Now, sometimes after even setting all that, the canvas is still not the same, the right size. So I always go back and I just check to make sure it's what I want it to be. And it wasn't, so I just made sure it was set at five. Um, go ahead and shrink down this navigation window so that I can see what I got going on. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is go to my text tool. I am going to choose the font that I want. In this particular situation, I'm going to use a font that's called Playfair Display. This font is going to be located in your font uh, download that I have available for you. Now, this is if you want to use it, and if you want to just go ahead and do this whole tutorial with me and just kind of go through and feel how this is going to come out. I'm gonna go ahead and just throw something out here. Maya's Hair Studio. Maya's Hair Studio. I'm gonna put this in the middle and I'm gonna make it a little bigger here. Okay, so we're gonna click okay. 
Next, I'm going to go back to my text tool and I'm going to go ahead and type out studio down here. I'm not going to leave it this font. Um, we are just going to put it in the center and then I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to choose another font that's called monster it. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. If I'm not, please don't hold that against me. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. Now this is a topography logo you guys this is a topography logo is when you are using the logo um, using fonts to make the logo not so much as icons and illustrations this is more mostly fonts so right now I'm going to create a line just to give it like a little um, just to add like a little bit more funk to this um, what I'm going to do is just to make sure the lines are the same on both sides. I'm going to bring down um, my ruler tool and just we're going to make sure everything is aligned properly. I'm going to go here, bring this open, drag this down. We'll actually drag it up. That one's good on my right side, but I'm going to bring my left side. And now they are on the same, they are even. Or even. Some people will stop here, but we're not, you know, we want to be extra. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this just a smidge bigger by using my transformation tools. And I'm going to click check. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to change these two colors because I want to add a little gradient. So I'm going to make this a little bit, I want to do black and purple, black and fuchsia. So I am make that, that, and then I'm going to go to layers and I'm going to go to gradient overlay. Click on gradient and those two colors that I just made, they're going to be in the presets and okay. So this is the Maya's Hair Studio. This is a simple topography logo. It's nothing big, but it is like kind of spicy, kind of hot. I like it and it will look good on a t-shirt. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna save this. Now when you're saving a logo, you need to save it in uh, different formats. So we're gonna first save it in our Photoshop format. That's the PSD, okay. So then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to take the background out by clicking this eye here and that takes away the layer from you seeing the layer. And then we're going to go and save this as a PNG file. And this is the file that you send people or you use when you want a background list logo. We're going to save this again as a JPEG. And when you save it as a JPEG, it's going to save it for you with the background, but uh, we're going to save it one more time. And I'm going to save this now as a PDF. So I'm going to bring this down to PDF. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, right here. And I'm going to save that. Okay. And we're going to just make sure the compatibility is right. And we're going to save and OK. Yes. All right. So that's really simple. I know. Um, but let's just make sure all of our stuff here is there. We have our JPEG, PNG, and our Photoshop file. There we go. OK. So that's it, guys. Um, this is how you create your logo topography logo you don't have to put Maya's hair studio you can actually put your own stuff in here make your own name but this is just kind of gives you an idea of how to do it yourself if you have any questions make sure you log on to www deepfitsthedesigner.com or you can leave a comment below and I will do my best to answer any questions that you have. All right. Thanks. Bye guys.